Hello, my name is Scott Inger, and today I'll be teaching you how to use Blender 3D, which is a 3D modeling software. In the first tutorial, I told you where you could get the software and some other software that you needed for running Blender. So, you might be wondering what these arrows do here. Well, they move the object. If you click one of the arrows, you can move it along that uh, plane you can move it up in these ways and to move it back to the original spot <coughs> you know click control Z until it's right where you want it to be so now I'm gonna teach you some or teach you about some extra views that you can do so the, you're already in object mode which shows you the object so let's go to edit mode and see what that does in edit mode it gives us a wireframe object that shows us all of the vertices faces or edges we want we're in vertice mode here as you can see right here we can change it to edge mode and we can select an edge or we can change it to face mode which is this triangle right here and allows you to select the whole face on the object so a quick shortcut to select the entire object is to hold or to press A twice and you can we're gonna add we're gonna divide these uh, faces so we're gonna go up to we're gonna go down here to mesh we're gonna go up to ver, uh, edges I'm gonna click subdivide another option for this is to actually click W and then click one or type W into the keyboard and then type one and it'll subdivide it for you right there so now, now that we know how to do this, what else can we do with this? Well, let's see. Let's go into vertice mode, and we're going to select one of these vertices. Let's see what happens when I move one of them. The object changes. And, and you select by clicking with the left mouse. Um, now let's undo what we've already done. Let's go back into object mode and there's a couple of things I can teach you in here. This right here is the scale manipulator and it allows you to change the shape easily without using the edit mode and these little squares here change how it looks. You, if you drag it this way it's gonna get wider. If you do it this way it's also it's gonna get wider in that direction and if you do it if you drag the blue one up it's gonna get taller. You know, I'm gonna undo that. And now let's let's show you this tool right here. This allows you to change the the angle that the object is at. And that will be all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.